Welcome to Electro Online. Well, so far, we have some major equations we need to solve the catenary. We have the relationship between C, the tension at the bottom of the cable, and the weight per unit length. We have an equation for the tension at the attach point or any point along the cable in terms of the length of the cable and the constant C. Remember that constant C is the distance from the origin to the lowest point on the cable. And on the previous video, we found an expression that relates the length of the cable to the distance, the horizontal distance from the lowest point of the cable to the attached point and the constant C. The objective of this video is now to relate Y to X and C. Here we have the relationship between S x and c now we want the relationship between y and x and c because after all we need to be able to calculate the distance y from the point of attachment here and let me lower that a little bit because it shouldn't have been that high it's uh, basically y is the distance from the origin to the attached point or the top part of the section of cable that we're interested in x is the distance from the origin to the attach point in the horizontal directions and we need to relate that to the length of the cable C the tension here and the tension there and of course we need to also relate it to the weight of the cable so we're starting out with the concept here that when we look here that the tangent of the angle theta is the ratio of the opposite side over the adjacent side dy divided by dx if we solve that for dy we get the tangent of theta times dx now what we're going to do is we're going to express the tangent of theta here in terms of the opposite side over the adjacent side when we consider the three forces acting on a section of cable. That means that dy is now going to be equal to the tangent of theta which is the opposite side w divided by the adjacent side t sub naught times dx and of course w the total weight of the cable is equal to the weight per unit length times the length of the cable and t sub naught here can be written as c times the weight per unit length c times the weight per unit length times dx and here we can see that the, the weight per unit length cancels out this becomes equal to s over c times dx but remember that s in the previous video we had an equation for that that was equal to Oh, well, no, no, here, we found it already. That was equal to C times the hyperbolic sine of X over C divided by C times DX. And notice that the C's cancel out. And this, therefore, becomes equal to the hyperbolic sine of X over C times DX. What we can now do is we can integrate both sides. We're going to integrate DY. And that's going to be integrated from the bottom of the cable, which is C, to the top of the cable, which is Y. And that is going to be equal to the integral of that right there from 0 to X. That's right, from 0 to X of the hyperbolic sine of the quantity X over C times dx. Now it turns out, just like with the sines and the cosines, except the sine here will be different. When we integrate the hyperbolic sine, we get the hyperbolic cosine. Since it's x over c, we're going to end up with a c there. And so this becomes y, evaluated from c to y, is equal to c times the hyperbolic cosine. Oh, I got the integral here. So the hyperbolic cosine of x over c, evaluated from 0 to x. Over here, we're going to end up with the upper limit minus the lower limit, which is y minus c is equal to c times, when we plug in the upper limit, this simply gives us the hyperbolic cosine of x over c minus the hyperbolic cosine, I keep wanting to write sine here, the hyperbolic cosine of zero. Now, the hyperbolic sine of zero is zero, but the hyperbolic cosine of zero is actually one. So this equation then becomes as follows. Here we get y minus c is equal to c times the hyperbolic cosine of x over c minus 1. 
If we now multiply this C in here, let's see what we get. We get Y minus C equals C times the hyperbolic cosine of X over C. C times this is minus C. And then realize we have a minus C on both sides of the equation. That cancels out. And finally, we can say that y, and that was the objective of the video, we wanted to relate y to x and c, and we can see that y is equal to c times the hyperbolic cosine of x over c. And here we have one more equation that allows us to solve problems of catenaries, cables hanging under their own weight that don't have the shape of a parabola. So now we have these three equations right here. We can now add a fourth equation to our set, helping us solve the catenary. And that's how it's done.